So next milestone in the evil master plan is down. We have just released $15 per kilogram PLA on both one kg and three kg spools. In this video, we're gonna talk about how we got here and what we're gonna do to continue dropping that cost down to below $10 a kilo. So this is a really big deal. When we first started making filament and started up tangledfilament.com last year, we were selling filament at $22 a spool just like everybody else. But in that time, we have dropped the cost by 30%, a 30% reduction in about six to eight months, which is really impressive. And just pat ourselves on the back here for a moment, because that was really good. But the way we got that done was really just by improving operations. We have been making filament for a while, but we haven't been making consumer filament for very long. Only since Tangled. And making a commercial product versus making a consumer product is a very different beast. We had to get in packaging. We had to reformat the size of the spools from what we traditionally use. And we also had to deal with the new sorts of constraints that customers require. So that created a number of challenges, just making sure that the workflows and processes were efficient enough to do it well. And as we got better, we passed those savings on to you guys. Some of the modifications we made were introducing the three kilogram spool, which both reduces the amount of manual labor in down spooling material and helps with shipping. We also introduced the three pack of filament, which allows us again to optimize the cost of shipping because there's free shipping on every spool of filament. The cost of the filament right now is actually less than 15, but we have to bill you for the shipping of it around the country. We're working on that. We'll get to it here in just a minute. But most of this optimization has been through process. And in manufacturing, most of the time, the most cost savings can be be made through process. Simplify your offerings, make more of them, make your customers happier, and get more customers. This is a big thank you to you guys. You guys purchasing more filament allows us to make it more efficiently, which means that we can lower the cost of filament so that you can purchase more filament. And there that virtuous cycle continues on. We do believe that reducing the cost increases the demand, and filament is a commodity. For us as a US-based company, we're really just very excited that now we're at least matching overseas manufacturers who have to ship it several thousand miles. We think there's no reason that a commodity material should ever cost more from someplace else when it's so simple to produce. Now, simple is a relative term. While the process of extrusion of filament is really simple, you have a hot tube squirting out a line of filament, but the subtleties of it can get you and can add to the cost of it over time. So how do we continue reducing costs from this $15 here? Well, $15 is a really good milestone there, and we do wanna float right there for a minute because number one, we're right on the edge of the efficiency and the shipping problems. So the way we're gonna to continue to reduce cost is number one, we will re be reducing shipping. We will start introducing distribution with the introduction of our Austin facility later this year, which should reduce shipping costs for a few folks but we will also be introducing new materials. Now that we have kind of fully optimized PLA, we want to get transitioned to PETG. Now PETG is able to make us a material that is much lower cost because the cost of raw materials for filament itself are lower there. But in order to do that, we need to introduce more equipment to support just Tangled itself. This means more filament dehydrators, uh, working with the secondary extruder that we recently installed. All of this is necessary in order to make sure we can do PETG well. But now it's kind of accumulating the cash to purchase that additional equipment to make sure that we can ramp up PETG appropriately. Because if we just introduced it now, it'd be a foamy, nasty mess that none of you guys would ever want and wouldn't make a good product for the customers. So right at the moment, we are in the mode of kind of coasting because we got other projects to work on too. But we will be focusing on PLA and continuing to expand it. We recently introduced a new extruder for Tangled, which we will begin set up over the, in the next month or so, which will continue to optimize our efficiencies as far as producing this PLA, as you guys need more and more. Hopefully that will introduce another cost cut at some point in the future, but that's a little bit more ambiguous. The big breakthrough is PETG, which requires us to just build up the cash to purchase that additional equipment to make sure that we're processing it appropriately. Once we get to the PETG, we can probably get it down to 10 bucks almost immediately because it's so much more efficient. That combined with a few different shipping tricks and continually optimizing the process will let us get down to the $10 a kilo. We really believe that 3D printing is going to replace injection molding as the primary ways of manufacturing. We do that every day here at Slant3D with our giant 
and print farms. But in order to do that, there is a necessity for a low cost raw material supply chain that doesn't exist in FDM right now, even though it should. It is the injection molding supply chain. The cost of material should be almost nothing. So we are working to do that. The point of Tangled is to continue to reduce the cost of filament through normal commodity means so that it gets down to the lowest cost it possibly can so it can be used as a mass production feedstock for other print farms so that the industry as itself can grow. Because the high cost of raw materials is one of the bottlenecks that we have as an industry from being able to compete with other forms of mass production. So we hope Tangled will keep everybody kind of inched in that direction and continue to take it on down. Right now, we've pretty much matched everybody else and we are paying good, reasonable wages and are in a miserable part of the States. Imagine what we're gonna be able to do as we really start optimizing this and spreading it around. Thank you all again who have purchased filament up to this point. Of course, I'm gonna be a shill here and say, go purchase some more because it's better for you. It makes it cheaper. But thank you all who have been supporting this project to date and we hope to continue keeping this trend line going downward the way we've been doing so far. Have a great day, everybody.